God said, I want you to tell him, Ezekiel. In verse number nine, he said, I want you to tell them, for behold, I am for you. And I will turn unto you. And you shall be tilled and sown. When I looked up the word tilled, the word tilled means to promote or improve the growth of a crop by labor and attention. Now get this for a minute. Tilled means to improve the crop, the land, or the field by labor or attention. Look at your neighbor and say, he's talking to me. He's talking to me. If there's ever a time we need to put some labor into our crop, if there's ever a time we need to put some attention into our crop, it is now. I do not believe that we are just sitting here as just another body of believers just to take up another two hours on Sunday so that everybody can be religious and we can go back and we can run and turn the TV on and watch the Dallas Cowboys or watch the Kansas City Chiefs or we can find a fishing spot or we can find a place to ride and yeah, we got our church in on Sunday and we're all right. Can I preach in here this morning? I believe that it's time that our ground become teal. I believe it's time we begin to pay attention. God's looking at me like I lost my mind. I believe that it's time that we begin to show attention to the crop and to the place of God to do this to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think that it's time that we begin to look at ourselves. I think it's time we begin to look at our own calling. I think it's time we begin, uh, praise God, to quit, uh, quit trying to worry uh, if we're going to hurt somebody's feelings uh, because we're too strong about God. Uh, quit worrying about all those things uh, and just step up and just do what God said to do. Uh, praise God, we was at the youth rally last night and there was a young man uh, who, who who performed a skit uh, and he was so just, just, just plain and spot on. Uh, and he, he said this young boy uh, can't to his dad and said, Dad, can I go watch this movie? And Dad said, well, what's it about? He said, well, it's got a little bit of cussing in it. It's got a little bit of violence, and, and they're just a brief deal of nudity, Dad. But, but yo, it's not that bad. And the dad said, yeah, son, I want you to go. Go ahead and just have, have a good time. Before you go, he said, I want you just to take one of these brownies. I bake these brownies just for you. And the kid took the brownies and he began to eat them. And he said, Dad, this is good. I like this, but, but something's a little bit different. He said, well, I used a different recipe. I, I did something different. He said, what'd you do? And he said, I, I put some dog poop in your brownies. And he said, hey, Dad, Dad, he said, but it's just a little bit, son. I didn't put a whole lot. I just put a little bit in there. It's not going to hurt you. Can I tell you right now that if you don't pay attention to your ground, then what's going to happen is the devil's going to little beat you to death and you'll wind up what? to it. To till ground means you got to pull out rocks. 
Man, I mean, I, I mean, you got to mix up the dirt. You got to dig down deep. You got to get that soil. You got to get it ready to receive the seed. Because if you don't get it ready to receive the seed, then you begin to sow a seed on top of a ground that is not ready. It, it, it's just going to take just a little bit, and it's not going to produce. And so God said, I need to go down. I need to dig up. There's some past things that you've been dealing with. There's some hurts, and there's some pains. Do you know that there's people? People coming to church now, and this is what they're doing. They're coming to church, and they're remembering what somebody did to them 25 years ago, and still yet they're still holding back. That's good preaching, preacher. That's right. They're coming to church and they're still remembering what somebody might have said. It is time we pay attention to our ground because when God begins to tell you, he pulls up those kinds of things. I know we think that we're all this and praise God we can do this, but preacher, I can give you scriptures where you're supposed to mark them, you're supposed to make sure, yes, I understand that, but you've got to get to a place right now where the most important thing is what God is about to sow inside of you, that you are well and able to bring that crop up to the place where it needs to be so the others can get a hold of it. Yeah. Our changes, we are part of the last day church. We are part of a last day church. We are going to, I, I, I tell you right now, y'all go, 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 please just listen to me. You're going to see things happen in the last day church that you haven't seen in a long time. And you're also going to see things happen in the last day church that no other church has ever seen. Because he's going to take the former and the latter rain and mix it. My God. He's going to take the former and the latter rain and mix it together. There's going to be a heartbeat of God begin to flow through the last day church. And can I dare say that most of the radical Pentecostals are going to fall off because they become shallow of the word of God. But you got to dig in deep, till up your ground. So when God sows his word, he just don't fall on the top of the ground and wash off, but till your ground. So when the word goes in, that's right. Yeah. Ooh, gets way down deep into the soul. Yeah.